Hello everybody, my name is Kenna McKee and I'm here today to do the devotion with you. And we are going to be in Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 through 10 and I'm sure most of you know where we're going. So before we get started, I'll just open us up in prayer. Lord, I just, I thank you that we can fully and absolutely put all of our trust in you. Father, I pray that you would just be with us this day and strengthen us and help us to be the men and women you are preparing us to be for the task that you have at hand for us, Father. And we just lift this day up to you in your most precious name. All right, so where I'm gonna go is, um, I'll kind of give you the background. Sunday in worship, we sang a song in the morning and it said, God is on the throne. And it just kept talking, you know, God is on the throne. And I'm spare you guys, I'm not going to sing. And as I was singing and worshiping, it just made me think where, what areas in my life is God not on the throne of my heart or in my life? And I kind of put him on the back burner, burner or I'm not trusting in him. And so, um, Today's title is Absolute Trust, and when I got into my little devotion book this morning to kind of find um, some verses and put this uh, devotion all together, um, I turned to a page that said Absolute Trust, and the question was kind of the same as that question uh, that God placed on my heart as I was worshiping, you know, where is he not on the throne of our hearts? And it says, have you learned the secret of surrendering your rights to your life? are becoming still in God's present and trusting him. If you can do that, God will give you the grace that you the grace to wait on him. And it just that um that sentence, that question, have you learned the secret to surrendering your rights to your life? And that's our life is is unto Christ. It's not our own, you know, and we want to make it so much of our own and hold on to things or we want for things. And when our ideas don't come to pass, we get disappointed or we might think that God isn't um, there for us when that's absolutely not the truth. So, um, so today I just want to encourage us to just ask the Lord what areas are we not leaning on him? Are we not trusting? And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and read Proverbs 3, um, chapter 3, 5 through 10. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and always acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones honor the lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase so your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will oh, your vats will overflow with new wine and i know this isn't a um, name it and claim it kind of prayer this is giving god our fir first fruits whether it's our time our money um just whatever, sometimes laying down my pride is really hard to do, you know. Um, sometimes we get asked to do tasks and we think, oh, I'm not smart enough to do that. Well, in James, God tells us, for all those who lack wisdom, ask and it will be given to you. Um, in Isaiah, if you think, oh, I'm too weak, I can't do that, God tells us he's going to use the weak to lead the strong. Um, and, and, it, and I've been hearing a lot about finances lately, and which is pretty reasonable because prices are soaring and but that's just it there's nothing that God's not going to keep from us or withhold our needs our wants we might not always get but needs he's never going to withhold from us and so it's just um in Matthew, he tells us if the birds of the air don't worry and how much more he cares for us, you know, so just surrendering all those areas of our lives that um, we can truly trust God with. And so um, I'm going to be read, I'm going to read just uh, chapter three, Proverbs three, um, 13. And just when we give, when we can really surrender those things to the Lord, what a better place it is, you know? So, uh, and it's just sweet to recognize these things because God's already knows our heart and we can be perfectly honest. God, I'm, I'm fearful because of this, but we know he cares for us. And so it says, um, verse 13 of Proverbs chapter three, happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. And when we truly understand 
who God is and that wisdom comes from being in his word, you know, we don't get, we don't turn into that person who's in verse seven wise in their own eyes, you know, because I know we all have that, um, desire to take matters into our own hands, but we don't need to because we can just let God truly sit on the throne and hopefully he's on the throne of your heart. And so with that, I hope you guys were um, just encouraged or um, maybe he's revealing something to you or that was just for me, but that's what he laid on my heart for this devotion. So I'll close in prayer and then I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Lord, again, we just thank you that we can trust you with our fears, our cares, and just everything that's going to go on in this lifetime. So, Lord, um, I just ask again that you be with my brothers and sisters. Bless them. Strengthen us again for the work you have for us, Lord, in your most precious name. Amen.